Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn that what is route model binding in the Laravel. And uh, these are the points that we are going to cover in this video. First of all, we will check what is the route model binding. Then we need to make at least one model and one controller so that we can make an example here. And uh, after that, we will understand this uh, route model binding with an example. And at the last, I will ask you a question. You can attempt this question in the comment box also. So now the first question is, what is route model binding? So route model binding, binding simply means we can inject our model to the route so that we can fetch the data with the minimum code, right? And in this way, we can fetch the data on the behalf of uh, ID, on the behalf of name and behalf of the member ID. Any uh, column of this table can be used in the route model binding. So now let's start with the example. So for that, I need at least one model and uh, one controller. So I'm just going to put here PHP artisan make controller. And my controller name is let's say device controller. Right, so here I have a device controller. So let's make a route for it first of all, and make a function inside it function index and for a moment I am just going to write here hello from device controller right and now I am just going to make a route for it and let's go to the web.php and let's just simply use here get method and uh, we also need to import here uh, our controller so just use here app http controllers and uh, then put here device controller which is name of our controller oh my bad right Basically, this is the path of our controller if you want to check app, HTTP controllers and device controller. Now let's make a path here. So let's uh, use a URL device. And uh, in the second parameter, just use here device controller colon colon class comma index as an second parameter, right? So now try to access this device URL. Okay, so this is a text coming from the controller. This is working fine. So now what I want that I just want to fetch the data on the behalf of uh, the ID, which is I am just going to pass inside the router, right? And this will be just directly inject inside the model. So here you can see that this is actually not working for a moment. So for that, uh, we need to just uh, pass here the another optional parameter like ID which is ID is actually uh, very common because we will just get the data on the behalf of ID name and member ID. So I'm just going to put here key as in second parameter, right? So now you will find that this is working fine. If I'm just going to pass something here like uh, name and something, whatever I, I can pass, I can do it, right? Now let's make a model here. So just write here PHP artisan make model and model name can be like say device why i'm putting my device as a model name because my table name is devices right so hit enter and this is also created now import this model inside the controller now from here so just use here use app model and uh, then let's uh, just write here model name which is device right and just simply make a uh, get a parameter here like a dollar key and it will be a device type right and now if I am just going to put here dollar key then it will be return me a data so let's see how it's actually return okay so device okay I just forget to put here models actually mm, just give me a yep 
so first of all let's try it with the id um, uh, yeah i just need to put here id not id string like one so now i'm getting the data of uh, device id one so let's say i just want to get the data from the third which is id3 and smartwatch uh, watch as a name so let's like this and now i get the data from third record so that's okay this is the one way to use the uh, uh, router model binding okay now how i can just get the data in the behalf of name or in the behalf of uh, member id right for that we you just need to go in the web and just tell him that you need to find the data on a name right and this name will understand that whenever i will just search the data then i need to search the data on this name field right so this is fine now just come back here and just simply put here laptop okay uh, just give me a moment i just forgot to save it just save it now and use it again now we can see that we get the data on the behalf of this id so you can just uh, get the same data on the behalf of let's say mobile and you will get the data of first record similar way you can just get the data from the device id also if you want you just need to just put here uh, device id with the, to the replace of name so this is the simple way to use the model uh, route model binding and it will just provide the data from the database with the minimal code you just need to put here a route and uh, the device class name as an parameter that's it right so thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video